we are here to talk about a specific concept in statistics and in fallacies. So again, yeah, I don't know. I really don't intend on making videos about statistics, but I find myself finding certain things about statistics to be interesting. Especially where I get the um, inspiration for it is pretty, pretty fucking interesting. Um, let's see where to start. Well, let's start talking about what regression to the mean actually means. Basically, what you have is, let's say, um, you went to a restaurant, and this restaurant was really, really good. You enjoyed it so much. Food, service, everything about it was just superb. You couldn't find one flaw. So you decide, let me go again. So you go the next week. And... Everything's still good, but it something, but you can't put your mind on what exactly it is, but you just kind of brush it away, and you think it's great. And you come for a third time, now you notice it's not as enjoyable as what it once was, not as magical, maybe, use that word, but instead, you find it becoming more average, and that's where mean comes in because I mean I think most of you know the central tendency measures I mentioned in my last talk you know, mean medium and mode and mean but it basically means the average an average of data and so as you go to this restaurant more and more often what you get is every time you go to the restaurant your experience becomes more average <laughs> to the point that you realize hey I don't enjoy this anymore. It's just like anything else, really. So, this may sound familiar. So, um, there's a... a fallacy associated with this. And I want to make a little quick political quibble with it. Um, the uh, quibble is... Uh, it's called... I think it's fallacy of the correlation. Hold on a second. Ah, regression fallacy. And so, this regression fallacy, what it means is, let's say, the example here used in the text is if, let's say, a um, there's a lot of uh, speeding in some part of a highway or street or whatever, right? And you, they put up, the city puts up these cameras to catch the speeders, these speed cameras, right? And then they see a reduction. And they say, aha, it must be the cameras. What happened was that one time fluke of a large number of speeders was just that, a fluke. And just like any fluke, it comes in and goes. So they call this... Uh, fallacy when you think something you put in caused it to go back to average when it wasn't it going back to average but instead it was just it just the normal thing it was going to do anyway it was the the, the fluke was going to go away the restaurant was going to get more average nothing caused it outside of just that there was no you know so going back to the restaurant analogy if let's say on the first time you went with uh, these black shoes and then every other time you went with blue shoes and you said it must be the shoes I'm wearing <laughs> Right that would be the fallacy that where you come in the fallacy you're saying oh my blue shoes are causing My restaurant experiences to get more and more average, but instead what's happening is the restaurant Experiences are becoming more average on their own. They're not being caused by your shoes so as you can see with the tickets here and and the speeders the cameras don't cause the reduction. In fact, the reduction was going to happen anyway. Now, I want to quickly connect this politically. And I'll end on a, a more humorous note. But I want to uh, connect this politically to 9-11. You see, 9-11 um, was an instance that was very unusual. 
And so we created a huge kind of uh, response to it that is mostly unnecessary. Like I've talked about in my last video about um, the Ferguson riots and whatnot, that what makes the police, what makes police brutality so bad, is the war, the war on drugs and the war on terror. And so, basically, by increasing, by do, you know, passing acts like the NDAA, which allows American citizens to be detained without any due process, or the Patriot Act, which just takes away our civil liberties, or the NSA spying, which is just again uh, against the Constitution. Um, all these are fallacies in the sense that they're like those speeding cameras, right, or those shoes. People say, we need this because it's causing us to be safe. When in fact, what's causing us to be safe is just, from, it's just the fact that it was a very one-off event. It's not very likely to ever happen again. And it was something that just really could have happened only once in our lifetimes or in the history. It's, it's not something that happens very often. So whether or not we had a Patriot Act or... A NDAA or Iraqi war, what have you, or Afghani war, war on terror. Um, it doesn't matter. It would the the terrorist attacks would have stopped coming anyway. Now to end on a better note, um, maybe you could look at this importance while I talk. Importance misunderstandings. Um, so the, how I got this idea was uh, it was pretty much yesterday. <laughs> I was in um, my uh, my dorm here, and I'm uh, you know it's kind of late at night, maybe 12 or 1 in the morning, and I'm just doing my thing, just on YouTube or whatever, or reading something. I forgot exactly what. Maybe even playing video games. No, if I was playing video games, I would have not heard it. Um, but yeah, I I, uh, I hear the familiar, all too familiar um, furniture moving from the dorm next over. You know. It's like a different suite, but we share the same wall, and, uh, you know, I have no problem with it, but I noticed something that caught my interest, and then I just thought of, oh shit, that's the regression to the mean in that situation. Well, what happened was, the, um, uh, you know, they're having sex, you know, him and his girlfriend, I, I'm assuming, or whatever, and when I first came here back in September... I remember she, you know, it's not, this is not the first time I heard it. Like I said, it's all too familiar. I have, I heard it very loudly, screaming and yelling, and wow, ooh, and ah, and all this shit, right? You know, and I would put up my music to kind of block it all out. And what I find is, well, she's not as loud as she used to be. And that kind of interests me. Because then I see, huh. Maybe her experience is getting more average. Or his experience as well, right? So it kind of dawned on me when I thought, hey, this is just like relationships. You know? It's a regression to the mean, a regression to boring, a regression to the average. And, you know, it starts off maybe really good and you're all happy and everything's fresh and new. And then over time, it just gets you know, more and more crappy. And then here's the fallacy. Let's go back to the fallacy part. Here, here's where the fallacy comes in. The couple blames each other. They say, oh, this is your fault that I don't like you, or or vice versa. You know, maybe one blames the other, and, the, and, and the other stays pissed off. <laughs> so they're committing a regression fallacy in that sense. They're saying, well, it's because of you, when in fact, no, it's just the fact that your, your experiences, your sensory motor couplings, to use a word from embodied cognition, <laughs> Your your, um, your sensations, your, your experiences are be are averaging as you encounter each other more and more and find out more and more about each other. You reach a peak and then the average start. It starts going back to the average, and that going back to the average is just natural. It's not it's nothing you can really control. I mean, maybe you can mitigate it by seeing each other less or something, but it's really something. You, it's out of your hands. It's, it's something you know. It doesn't happen in every system, but it's pretty um, common. So, 
Oh, here's some interesting uh, things you see. It, it just like uh, another example of the fallacy is like the Madden curse. The idea that you have a really superstar player one year and he gets on the cover of a magazine or, or a video game. And then the next year he breaks or he breaks his leg or he, um, you know, has a, a bad season. And then we say, oh, it's a curse from the magazine. When in fact, no, it's just his uh, greatness was a fluke one-off event. And reality Everything is just going back to the average. It's just, the more you see it, it just goes back to the average. You know, the sophomore slump. It's just all going back to average. So, um, you know, that's basically it. That's all I really wanted to uh, focus on in this um, little talk here. Um, I just realized my video software, uh, recording software, doesn't allow me to do webcams anymore. So I might have to start going back to... YouTube webcams, which I hate, because they always cut me off. Like it'll be like five minutes and it cuts me off. Uh, okay, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting past myself here. So, um, so yeah, just uh, take that into account. You know, there's a uh, there's this regressional fallacy it applies to 9/11, applies to relationships, and and applies to almost everything else you do. You know, so you know, here's a new a new statistical idea to think about that actually applies to your life. Wow. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> okay. Thanks for listening. And uh, have a good one.